All right, 14,000 Putzmeister Electric, 80, 80-something stories. Downtown Toronto with this guy. Hey, wee wee. <laughs> there we go. Wee wee. This is cool. They've reinforced with some turnbuckles here on the on the valve because there were bolts that were breaking. They beefed all that up. So fourteen thousand electric. You said on piston side, plumb the piston side. Two huge electric motors. There's two of these big boys. You're saying 400 amps each? Yeah, it's 800 amps. Wow. So they have to put special infrastructure in place for that then? Yeah, majority of these uh, sites don't even have that service coming into the entire site. Look yeah, the that's what I was thinking bottle. too. You see the accumulator bottle there? Where is it? Yeah, right here. Oh. oh, she's a big one. Big shift cylinders, big accumulator bottle. What do you think? Everything's big. Everything's bigger in Tirana. Yeah, slick setup. They don't use press books. No. Well, this one they do. We've seen yeah. a lot of the jobs they don't. Yeah. Almost, he says there's only two jobs they use <coughs> press books. Did he, press did he say the reason for electric here was noise, trying yeah. to keep the noise down? Yeah. So they even put like rubber cushions under the outriggers here to try and keep the noise down. <laughs> Built this beautiful hoarding that looks like, looks like trees and then got tagged. So yeah, 80, 80 something stories this one's going. You're saying they pump about 45 cubic meters an hour with this unit. Would you say the electric is any faster or slower than the diesel versions? It's constant torque. I think there's no torque loss with this. With the electric. So you, the don't, you, like, you don't hear a change in its motors or anything. So the perf performance is pretty comparable the performance then? performance is consistent. Well, I reach to him and what year is this one, did you say? Um, I'm not sure. Looks, it looks new. Oh, you're saying it was brand new on the job, but a couple years old. 2017, 2018? 15. 2015. It's funny. I think, oh, brand new. Well, shit, that's 10 years old now. You know what? It was brand new when it came here. Isn't it it's crazy? First job. First job. How many years have you guys been on this one? Oh, my God. Two, over two years. 10 stories down for the parkade, or do they go deeper here? This is deep. Is it? Yeah, this is deep for the country. Like everything down here is. They had a crane here that they got from the States that had a just diesel power. And when a tractor trailer loader rebar would show up, they picked the whole trailer and lowered the trailer down. <laughs> 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 they took one of our um, AT cranes and lowered it down in the hole. Like it drove up. Crazy and tall and buildings here. Way taller than Vancouver, <laughs> that's for sure. How tall was that one right there? 70 or 80 stories? That's gotta be up. Yeah, we don't get it. We don't get them that tall. They're getting taller in Vancouver, but they're not, Over here, not like this. 60s is standard. 60s is standard. Yeah, the condo 64 is a standard. 60s condo. right now. 60 so you guys do the candy cane blow down here? Yes. That's kind of the common? Yep. I think the issue we had in Vancouver, though, is everybody's running rubber hoses at the end. Yeah, so there, no, there were we, incidents. That thing goes right deep. That whole cage goes past that hopper, right into the rubber. And that's on a hydro. Oh, it's on the winch, it's and then the you winch. chain it down. Some guys use hydraulic. We do it with a winch. Um, it's, it's it's better. I'd heard stories of the hydraulics sometimes not holding the thing coming back over. So well, that's so we chain this down. See that chain goes right to the back of the truck. Ah, uh, oh, that's a heavy chain too. Yeah. On some sites, we have a uh, piece of plywood. It's cut out. So once that drops in there, the piece of plywood goes over the hopper, and then we throw a ratchet strap over that. Oh, to kill any of the splash. It yeah. comes back yeah. violent, nothing gets out. You can see the one running up the building there. You see it's insulated? Oh, so it all runs under steel plate there. Yeah. And it's, it's underneath. It's buried under this. So what do you think that is? About 200 feet before... 
few hundred feet, then it goes vertical and it steps back in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a spare in here too. It's not just one. Oh, you got a secondary oh, line yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. If something happens to this, we don't want to dig up the whole thing. Right, table right. Forward. And you guys do that as standard on most of your towers or in a second line? No, just for stuff like this. Stuff like this? Or, or it's all buried. So when they fire that up, it's two separate electric motors. They fire up. One fires up and the second one kicks in a few seconds later, just because of the, uh, the power draw. Nice clean hopper. I give it a solid eight out of 10. Beautiful. Yeah, what a setup. So each electric motor is like 400 amps, I believe. What a unit. So it comes up there, runs in through the building. That's the way up top. Cool. This stand line goes up to the room. And then this stand line here is our artillery line that we do the infill portion of. So that's for the infill. Well, this, this, so when you're going, when you're doing the boom, you just flip this over and connect it up. Oh, well, that's pretty easy actually. Just swings over and lines right up. Oh shit. And that's all the the three eighths wall stuff you're talking about. All the good good conform stuff. Slowly getting rid of that schedule, lady. Yeah, the 3 isn't isn't too horribly heavy, right? It's 230 versus 300. Right. So it's still heavy, but. Tony and I did a building. We had 300 feet. Corners. <laughs> Doing a corner infill every. Corner oh, every corner. floor you got to fill the corners in. Yeah. Oh, so that's what the second standpipe is for then. And they just run, you run some five inch rubber? Or? Oh, okay. So when you fill these in, you're usually what, like 10 floors behind the actual building? So this is 70. Yeah, this is a this is a tall one. Downtown Toronto. Let's see over from this side. Oh, it's windy and cold. are up there. Oh, there it is. How do you deal with running the boom up top in this cold? Do you just dress around it or what? I like know Vancouver's bad with the rain, but we don't get cold like this. It gets miserable up there, but man. No, you shut her down.
So is that like a self climbing deck yeah, then, or? Our placing boom climbs with it. Oh, it's attached to that. Is yeah. that that's uh, Doka? Is it Doka stuff or? Wow. Yeah. So how do, are these the ones that you guys line pour the walls in here? Yeah. You do that all a five inch line? Yeah. Just run like a, a elbow or a hook on the end or? <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Cool. They yeah. lift the core, the, the core form. Yeah, so they still gonna bring the uh, the minus one up. We'll connect that to there. Oh, so these these will connect there. Yeah. Oh yeah. You ever got a jack to the form when they forgot to pull the pipe off? No. Never. <laughs> So 38 meter boom. Wow. 79 floors? Yeah. We're at 79. Holy crap. Oh, what are we wow. Yeah. How's that for a view? Yeah, Unreal. This is as high as I've ever been. Amazing. Holy mama. Can't get over the view. But what a what a building. So that's the core mounted uh, setup for the placing boom right onto the onto the doka form. Wow. Even the Toronto guy says it's cold up here. It's not just me. <laughs> They're gonna jack this form now, so we gotta get down. Ooh. When we poured these walls, they had to wait an extra day to strip it. Because the, uh, it wasn't curing. They could still could take scoops out. Oh, just because of the cold? <laughs> what do they, they normally strip the next day, typically, or? formal climb up with the hydraulic cylinders here. Pretty cool. Well, that's officially the highest up I've ever, ever been. 80 stories. 79. All the way up. We're heading out. Does somebody want to say keep on pumping and do the stupid thing with a fist? Anyone? There we go. Yeah, you're good at it, Dan. You're natural. Well, it's the tallest tower I've ever been on. That was 79 today? Yeah. How are you doing? Setting records. Oh, that's a little different technique. Isn't that from, from FUBAR? Takes you two or three minutes if you know what you're doing. He's too young. He hasn't seen it.